Hi everyone, Eric Blumendel from RMUS Canada. I'm here at Deep Trekker in Kitchener, Ontario, talking with our good friend Tristan Walker about the latest and greatest product called the Photon. So Tristan, this is uh, brand new. You've only shipped a few of these to the market. First thing that I notice is it's quite a bit smaller than, than the Pivot and the Revolution. Can you talk about a little bit of the new design on this model? Yeah, so like you just said, we just launched this one earlier in November, so haven't got a ton out in market yet. Um, but the unit itself, we've got a seafoam top covered by a uh, carbon fiber exterior just to give it that strength and protection while you're driving. Uh, but biggest differences that you'd notice on this versus something like our DTG3 is we've got vectored thrusters as well as we've got two thrusters to bring you up and down. So it's going to go a lot faster than the G3 would and be able to move, maneuver in different ways than it was possibly able to before. Now, other things that we have on here is we have things like uh, removable batteries. So our batteries are able to be swappable at site so you don't have to worry about recharging uh, and waiting for that recharge. Or if you didn't want any of that, we also have direct power options as well. So we can run forever without having to stop any of our missions while we're going. So Tristan, the, uh, the Photon comes in two varieties. There's a base package and a navigation package. Correct. Can you talk through maybe some of those differences? Yeah, so the base unit, you're gonna get obviously the, the unit itself, and then you're also gonna get a single battery with it uh, that is rechargeable. You're also gonna get your tether, and then you're also gonna have your uh, controller with it. Now we can go up to the, the nav package, which on the nav package, we're gonna include the DVL, which is a Doppler, uh, Doppler velocity logger, as well as a USBL, which stands for ultra short baseline. Uh, what those two allow you to do is under essentially underwater mapping. Mm -hmm. So uh, we know that GPS doesn't work underwater. So what we do is we add a uh, piece to the back here that then speaks to a transducer that you drop into the water at the top side. They speak to each other and that's going to be able to give you relative positioning oh, inside nice. the water. Uh, and then we can overlay that with a map on the screen so you can actually see where you've been. Uh, and then we can do other things like being able to map out where you're going and add cool. uh, other targets with it as well. Very good, very good. So um, we're obviously in Canada, coming into the winter months. One question I get the most from my customers is, what temperature can these things operate in? Yeah, so we've seen this operate down in the Antarctic up to the North Pole. Uh, so the unit itself has no problem going into negative degree waters. Uh, we've had it down to negative five, and then it operates into the, the high Celsius, 40, 45 degrees Celsius. As well. Very good, very good. Awesome. So Tristan, I've, uh, I've traveled a little bit with the Pivot, doing demos throughout Canada, and that whole kit comes in two similar size cases, very heavy, uh, tough to transport in some cases. Um, I noticed that this new design comes in one case. Can you, can you talk about what's all included, what the customer can expect when they get theirs? Yeah, absolutely. So it's really nice about this case. The case weighs under 50 pounds. Uh, inside the case, we've got the unit itself here uh, with the batteries attached to it. Uh, we operate with the tether that's included, uh, lightweight tether so that we don't have to worry about a lot of drag on side, mm -hmm. uh, outside of the water. As well as we've got our handheld controller here. So we've got our joysticks as well as our seven inch screen on board. And then we've also got our tooling. Uh, so we've got our different Allen keys as well as we've got ballast plates and whatnot that come in the, uh, the pencil cases with it as well. Excellent, great design. Thanks for all that great information, Tristan. Uh, just to summarize, this is a much smaller ROV, uh, easier to transport in the field, comes with a smaller price tag than maybe the Revolution and the Pivot. So for those with tight budgets, this might be a, a very easy to procure uh, piece of equipment. Um, but one of the key factors about Deep Trekker and this product is it's all engineered, it's designed, it's serviced and supported right here in Canada. That's a, a massive thing that not a lot of uh, products that we sell have, and that should be definitely considered when you're making an ROV purchase. Thanks again, Tristan. Pleasure My spending pleasure. some time with you. Uh, anyone has any more information, there's some links below. Please contact us and we're happy to chat more. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time, Tristan. Thanks for coming out. We'll have uh, more videos coming to you. Please continue to watch our 12 days of RMUS.